It's now time for the sports news and football. Kenya Federation, FKF, has confirmed Harambe Stars will not play a second friendly match. The national team was set to take on Sudan in a second friendly match following their 2-1 victory over Zambia's Chipolo Polo at Inyayo National Stadium. Stars are now expected to break camp only to return in preparation of the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier match against Com Com Comoros in November in Nairobi before traveling to Moroni for the second leg. Kenya is second in Group G on two points, having registered two draws in as many matches, while Comoros leads the group of on four points, having registered a win and a draw so far. Stars played out to a 1-1 draw against Egypt in Cairo before registering a similar against Togo in Nairobi. Kajado North Sub-County MP Joseph Manje has praised the increase in women participation in football affairs. In the country, Manje speaking at a CAFD coaching course organized by the Football Kenya Federation and Kajado North Sub-County encouraged more young people and women to get into the sport, arguing that there are many ways of contributing to the growth of the sport. ni fursa kukuja kufundisha makoches wa huku kwa upatia knowledge unafikiria ni sana sana kushukuru MP Ma, manje na federation ya huku pia na pia CDF kwa kuleta hii shughuli hapa alisi kama head instructor nime fry sana kwanza kupatia na knowledge jile niko nao kwa football ya kitu kwanza ni fursa nzuri sana kwa sababu na initiative wa federation na chukua kuweza na partnership ya na Kajado North kuweza kufundisha makocha wetu kwa sababu unajua size eh, kama federation kuna ile talent development program ambayo wakati huu ni ya maana sana kwetu tume train about 51 coaches for the constituency and 45 referees ambao sasa wako properly equipped watarudi kwa uwanja wa referee wa hapa Kajado North Kajado County and nationally they have been trained by the best trainers in the country Mercedes Lewis Hamilton has matched the career win record of Mikhail Schumacher's with his 91st F1 victory at the I4GP after beating Red Bulls Max Verstappen and Reno's Daniel Ricciardo for first place at the Naba Green and the World Champions has also boosted his chances at equaling Schumacher's record total of seven World Championships after closest 2020 driver and Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas race retired. Eight minute penalty from All Blacks winger Jordi Barrett salvaged a 16-16 draw against Australia in their first uh, bloody slow cup test earlier today. The game was the first rugby test since March because of COVID-19 restrictions and the first for all uh, Blacks coach Ian Foster and his Wallabies counterpart Dave Rani. The Wallabies had the most possession and territory throughout the match as they were hunting for their first win against the All Blacks in 19 years. Despite their spirited fight, Jody Barry pulled the host ahead with the only try in the first half. Way for Moanga, McKenzie, quick hands. Now Barrett, Jody Barrett for the corner. All Blacks in. Dave Rene's first game in charge looked like it was getting away from him after Aaron Smith extended the All Blacks lead with just 30 minutes to go. Big game, swings it off to Aaron Smith. Smith and White, the two halfbacks. Smith reaching and Aaron Smith, that is sensational. But the Wallabies hit back through Marika Koribete and debutant Filippo Daugunu. Now yeah, Philip, Philip, good run again by Matt Phillip, but a greasy ball has been lost. It's flicked out and Dungunu driving. That's a try. The game ran on for further seven minutes of continuous play before Australia fly half James O'Connor decided to end the contest with a 74th minute penalty. However, Barrett's penalty four minutes later denied the Wallabies a chance to end a 19 year losing streak against New Zealand. The Wallabies have not beaten the All Blacks in New Zealand since a 23 15 victory in 2001 in Dunedin. Moment of drama in Test Rugby. What a huge kick that is. Oh, the oh my goodness. All Blacks can't touch it. They dive on it. 
It was just their eighth draw in 167 clashes. It's so soon after the game, we're going to digest it, we're going to go back to the drawing board and look at what we can improve. Um, look, we love playing for this jersey, we love playing in this jersey, um, it never gets lost on guys, um, you know, even guys who've been around for a while now. You've got to win two, so um, nothing really changes for us, to be honest, you know, like the, the British is important for us and... and and, and this, this test showed that, you know, where both teams are at. And I think both teams will walk away from that with uh, a lot of positives. The second of four Bladislaw Cup games is on Sunday, 18th October.